Now joining me here on an NCAA.com Skype session from Pac-12 Media Day, McKinley Wright IV from Colorado. McKinley, I don't have to tell you how much I'm on board the McKinley Wright train. Uh, you guys were a couple games away, I think, from being a NCAA tournament team last season. What's the difference this season to make it happen? Uh, we got a lot of a lot of guys coming back that experience. You know, we had we started four freshmen at one point, and bringing all those guys back. Now we know what college ball is like. We know how hard, how tough conference play is. We know how to play on the road now. Um, just the experience, you know, that that was the main thing for us. Uh, we, we've all uh, took our game to the next level, so we're excited to showcase what we got this season, and it's going to be a real fun one. All right. So, what did you do? Because the jump between freshman and sophomore year is always maybe the greatest that you'll have especially early in your college career. What did you do this summer? Um, I got a lot of work in with, with Chauncey and a couple other NBA players. Um, I worked on my three ball a ton, so I'm excited to showcase that. You know, I'm going to make teams pay for going under screens or leaving me open and, or sagging off or whatever the case may be. So a uh, majority of my summer was just getting tons of shots up every day, just, make, just seeing the ball go through the net, you know, building my confidence and you know, showcasing that I could, I could shoot the ball from deep. All right, so... You know, I've talked a lot about your speed. You're like the road runner. Um, in what way, though, have you seen your speed is a huge advantage for you? Um, I kind of uh, seen it for, you know, bigger guards trying to stay in front of me. It was tough. But, you know, I watched a lot of film this summer. And, you know, I learned uh, when to use my speed and when not to use my speed. So, you know, I kind of got a, a feel for what, you know, a feel for my speed. And, you know, like when's the right times and, you know, to showcase it obviously on a fast break or, transition, even in the half court, you know, when uh, guards are pressuring me, you know, I kind of use it to my advantage, and, you know, my, and my, I use my muscle to my advantage as well. So uh, I kind of noticed it a lot. So, look, I think the Pac-12 is going to be wide open, and you guys are one of those teams that's hard to figure. For you guys yeah. to really challenge for the Pac-12 regular season title, what has to happen? Uh, we got we to gotta play defense. We have to win road games. Uh, I, we're one, I think one in – Ten, I want to say, in the conference and road game, uh, which is which is terrible. Um, we know that the, the country knows that, Pac-12 knows that, but you no, know, I think we 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 uh, we figured it out. I think we got it. We uh, Colorado's changed. Uh, we figured a lot of things out. We're excited to show that you know we're one of those, the top teams in the Pac-12 this year. All right, so look, I, I've been promoting you for a year now. I think <laughs> the secret is out. Do, yeah. do I have to keep doing my job, or is the secret out? Uh, I think the secret's out. I appreciate you, man. I think the I think the country knows though, and uh, you know it's still a little, still a little, little bit of slept on. I'm still, you know what I'm saying, but you know I'm excited to uh, just showcase what I showcase uh, my game, showcase what I've been working on, and you know to showcase, let the world know that I took my game to a new level. So it's gonna be fun. McKinley, appreciate it. And I know I'll be watching throughout the course of the season. Appreciate you, Andy.